and welcome to the NBS Show, episode number 295. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Wills. Yeah, what do you want from me? I'm trying to sleep, man. Well, don't you know? It's Boxing Day today. <laughs> Wonderful. Can I shove you into a box and ship you somewhere else? No, because we got a lot of presents to open, man. Like, woo, presents. Okay, Whoa. but can we have the presents presently at another present time? Oh, well, if you want to be a party pooper, yeah. But anywho, also joining us is Starstream. Woo! Hello, every pony, and it's a Merry Christmas to you all. Well, Christmas was yesterday, but eh. I, I'm guessing Christmas has to be late someplace, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Depend on the how early this post came out, but obviously it's gonna be after Merry Christmas. So happy belated Christmas or something. I nah, don't know. Nah. The way I'm looking at it is, it'll probably release on somewhere in t- before twelve um, Eastern. So it's gonna be Christmas, but late someplace. You know. But anywho, mm-hmm. Merry Christmas to you all. I hope you have an awesome. Uh, Christmas and whatnot, and also happy holidays for you who don't have or who don't celebrate Christmas. But anywho, let's get into a few things because a few things happened recently and whew, they're kind of big. And I, how do I put this? They're game breakingly big. And do you guys know what I'm talking about here? I don't know. Um, are you talking about the fact that, you know, Hasbro needs to freaking hire a plumber because of uh, all them leaks? Yeah, true that. True that. Uh, all I know is they shouldn't hire any Italian Japanese plumbers, man. Uh, good one, Norman. <laughs> good one. Yeah, but anywho. Um... But then again, isn't that so called Italian plumber no longer being a plumber anymore? What what is he even? He was a carpenter before, then he was a plumber. Now what is he now? Like an adventurer? No, based princess on... rescuer, pasta pasta taster, <laughs> and and racer, multi million dollar franchise maker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a racer. Oh yeah. And yeah. a racer. Yeah. Mamma no... mia! I got to make a lot of money. What do you expect? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Oh, also he's a runner and a jumper. You know what? Uh, we're totally off base. So anyway, getting back right on track with the whole. Okay. Um. Recently, there has been a lot of leaks happening with the show. Um. Uh, specifically with the leak of season eight materials, and we here at the MBS show do not condone the spreading of the leaks and whatnot. And here's what I'm just trying to say. Be careful what you click on. Be careful of Derpy Buru and so on. And if you have seen it and if you have watched it, please keep it to yourself until things are officially released because nobody likes to get spoiled. So here's our PSA to you guys. Just keep it to yourself for a bit. If you have someone that has watched it, Two, then probably you can have a nice conversation with said person. But here's the thing. Remember that everything is not set in stone yet. They're working on the episodes. Things are being worked on. And if things don't seem like they seem when you see it, then that means they have a change in idea or plan. Let's just say this. It's like video games. They have a pre-alpha and beta and things change along the way. So yeah, just imagine that. So with that, please don't spread any info about Season 8 and beyond because nobody likes to get spoiled. And again, if you do want to talk about it, there is groups dedicated to talking about it. Just do not talk in public areas where you may get in trouble. Yeah, yeah. Of permanently of the web, of the chat group. Yeah, yeah. Because nobody likes spoilers. True, that. People like to be Except clean. Me. People want to get, go in blind and clean. And I think that season 8 holds the record of getting leaked. Oh, yes. I thought season 7 and 8. No, no, no. Together. Season 8 
holds the record for getting leaked. Yep. Ah, Most yes, that's leaks. true. Yep. And if you think about it, right, season 8 has not been announced yet, and <laughs> yet there's leaks. Like, what the? <laughs> holds the biggest record. That's, that's what I have to say. Then again, it's, like I said, probably someone is not satisfied with the place they're working. This is why you rotate your passwords, people. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what I'm not even gonna say anything or stuff because as much as I like Pony content I do respect Hasbro's IP and I do want them to officially launch it like how they intend to but you know what that's their problem Uh, we have our own problem with this show and let's get right on to it so anywho but anywho talking about Hasbro uh, they have their Instagram page more specifically the My Little Pony page has an Instagram page, and they recently post a short video of the Jingle Bell parody. So, yay! It's still Christmas somehow, and this is kind of related. I think this song is cute, and this is the season, right? Isn't the song when they sing it, is it based on the, what you call it, heartwarming episode? Yeah, but it's the lyrics, because it's a Jingle Bell tune, and so, so on. So it's feel a bit weird with the lyrics. It doesn't rhyme at all. I I mean, it doesn't flow at all, in my opinion. Oh yeah. Well, I mean... of course not. This was literally a a hack job of putting in whatever is pony related into the lyrics, shoehorning it in, shoving it in, even if it destroys the entire meter, with no rhyme or reason or respect for the sanctity of these musical numbers. Which <laughs> I'm I'm joking. These songs have been butchered to hell and back. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. But hey, at least it's fun. And it's what, uh, 11 second video or something like that? I don't remember. Uh, but still, it's just for the funsies. Nothing too serious. And since it's all Christmas, hey, it's all good. And, well, let's head on to the second news. And by the way, folks, this week has been a really, really slow news week. I could not find anything for the life of me besides the quote-unquote spoiler talk and whatnot. So, um... Next on the list is the My Little Pony movie available on Amazon. And that's the, what, digital version, right, Star? Yep, that's the digital version. The official Ooh. release will be next year for the physical, for those who want to get it. Well, you can still pre-order it now. True, uh, January 9th. And a digital release is available now. Um, I wonder... Is this we including with all the deleted contents and whatnot? Yes. Really? From what I see, I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's together. Huh, okay. Let so me double check. Because I got no Let idea me... how to look at the digital release for Amazon. Because I don't have Amazon. Uh, Wills, do you have Amazon? Do I look like I live in South America? <laughs> <laughs> Amazon.com. You. <laughs> Oh, no. Uh, no, I do not. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So, yeah. If you want to watch it now, now it's available on Amazon. So, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. It's there for you to watch. Other than that, I don't know what to say, man. Like, I've seen the movie. I enjoyed it. I recently did a review of it. So, that's cool. That will be up soonish, I think. I, I don't know. Scheduling involved. So I don't really 100% know. So yeah, it'll be out soon. Like I mentioned before, the physical copy of physical, yeah, the physical copy of the movie will be out on January 9th. So yeah, get your pony fixed soon. Or, you know, you could just go online, find some images, cut those images up and snort those images. That's how you get your pony fix. Uh, you could. Do it the traditional way, yeah, with the scrap paper books and then um, flip it. Yeah, flip picture movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's something you need to do, man. Like, that industry needs to come back. Or you can just, you know, go through all the Derpy Borough edits and make a movie out of that. Oh, God. I... <laughs> uh, probably. Oh, boy. Open up your eyes. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. But anyway. Uh, talking from one movie to the other um, we all love posters right like I really wanted to find a movie poster for the MLP movie but I couldn't find any at the local movie poster shop that I went to so that was a bit sad for me I remember that 
Hey, but you want to know who can help get my pony poster fix? No one? No one? Alright. Enter play. Those good people who made the uh, trading card game and those trading cards. They are having some kind of sale. And let's see. How much is this? Because I'm on there. Yes. Uh, it's $10. So yay. And with every poster, they're giving away a Rainbow Dash trading card. If you live in the United States and you like the movie and stuff, you should probably get it. Like, I really want this. It's a 24 by 36 inch full color poster. And this poster is not bad. Like, this art here is really good. Mm. What do you think, guys? Like, you want this? On one hand, it is very beautiful artwork. On the other hand, it has a very terrible queen on it. Are you sure that's the queen? <laughs> Yeah, Queen Lenovo. Or, <laughs> Lenovo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lenovo. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah. Queen Lenovo, the computer brand. She's just as she's just as terrible as well. <laughs> Is that Queen Lenovo really? Uh it doesn't look like her. I don't know, it doesn't look like the movie poster at all. No, it's not a movie poster. This is uh, exclusive. I like the art though. Like this really strikes me. I really want this one if I can get it. Uh, but oh well. So, am I the only one who wants this? No, uh... I'm pretty sure there's plenty and hundreds of people who want it that also have bad taste. <laughs> oh, you jerk. <laughs> well, well, or those people who are envious and say that they want to get it, but the thing is that they have a post, uh, what do you call it, a wall full of postal things like that. Oh, they, um, maybe. They, know how to, they know how to do it. Ah, uh, yes. Let's see, I want to try and order it now, live on the MBS show. Let's go to cart. Let's see uh, where does this thing ship. Uh, oh, you can ship it international. It does written there. Uh, check out with... Okay, let's we go we can only ship flat, flat poster internationally with standard shipping rate due to extreme expense of shipping the large, large box. If you would like to purchase road poster or find out cost of shipping, please contact our customer service team at info at enterplaystore.com. Huh. Well, I can see it here. It says it ships to my country, so that's good. I'll take a look-see later on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Expect to pay about 30 bucks. Don't US care. Dollar. Don't care. <laughs> so Go for it. <laughs> it's a Christmas present for myself. I did a good job. Yeah. Uh, Except that the, the so-called pre present doesn't arrive during Christmas. <laughs> uh, oh well, at least it's something, right? Uh, but anywho, that's ah, yeah. useful. Yeah, sometimes you just sometimes you just need to treat yourself. True, true. true ah, true. yes, that's true. Oh well, I'll treat myself later on. But still, uh, we have a show to do. And well, like I mentioned before, this is the shortest news week ever. Not really, but this is all the news I can muster up for this week because it's christmas weekend by the way and there's no news try as hard as i can i couldn't find any okay there's one about walmart having uh, what illinois having the most uh kind of state that sells or buys the my little pony minifigures the construggle minifigs yeah they have that beyond that i got no idea what to say like i don't think that's newsworthy mm. well um yeah. Hmm. We'd have to cover all the leaks and well we'd have to subject ourselves to the leaks in order to actually do that. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, my poor heart. But anywho, that's the news for this week and let's head on to the next topic. Next topic is my favorite, and that is what we have been doing with our week. So Will, how about you man? You always up for a good uh, conversation about your week? Uh hmm. Uh hmm. I have been doing things. Many things. Important things. Quit putting me on the spot, Norman. I don't know. Uh, sorry. Like, you usually have something to talk about. Nothing for this week. It's a short news week, and I've been doing absolutely nothing with my life. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'll try and dig you out. I'll try and dig you out. And I noticed on Steam that you've been playing KOTOR 2. Oh, yes, yes. Knights of the Old Republic 2. Or you should sit more accurately saying trying to get Knights of the Old Republic 2 to work. <laughs> Period. <laughs> okay, what's wrong? What's wrong? Have, oh, have well, you got done refund yet? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. You see, 
All right, for those not in the know, Knights of the Old Republic 2 is a very well put together in the time they were given role playing game, a uh, Star Wars role playing game done by the lovely people at BioWare when BioWare wasn't owned by EA and absolute crap. Oh wait, I think this was right at the time they were bought by EA. Really? Hmm. That explains things. <laughs> anyway, the point is, the point is they rushed out they rushed out this game to make a holiday release and the only problem was is well when you rush you get problems and the thing is this game is still good really good it's just even after years of it existing and multiple fan mods existing it's still just ah uh, crashes at the slightest touch has a whole bunch of plot holes here and there has incomplete content and it's probably kind of like uh Kind of like yourself you know, right after you graduate high school and you go to college and you drop out. Oh, so much potential. Completely wasted. Oh, no. That sounds bad. <laughs> but I would highly recommend it nonetheless. If you can get it to work. I mean, it's cheap. You can get it for like less than five bucks in most places. And it's actually got one of the best well-written stories to it and some of the best characters. In fact, actually, it's something I it's kind of refreshing compared to a lot of other Bioware or Bioware-esque RPGs that are like, oh, we have this morality system and whatnot. And, but this game tends to really screw with you on that. Is like, you know, by being absolutely good, are you really doing anyone any good? Like, for example, if you were to actually, you know, give some guy some random schmo some money to help him from his destitute situation, well, great, you've done a stopgap measure, but have you really improved the lives of anyone? And besides, now that you've actually given him money, that you've made him a target for others who are less fortunate, who may just, you know, attack him because of his fortune of you giving to him. Does that really solve the problem itself at hand of people being destitute to begin with? Are you actually doing any good at all? Furthermore, who are you to actually just come along and act like you can actually fix everyone's problem just with some money or with your own actions? And who's to say that your actions of standing up for someone who's getting beat up is actually going to help that person in the long run? I mean, they're just going to continue to be a victim unless they actually stand up for themselves eventually. It's a very gray morality, gray morality thing. Plus, I mean, I'm not going to spoil it because there are a lot of spoiler heavy for spoiler heavy stuff for this game. But basically, the companions uh, can the companions in this game are some of the most well rounded companions I've seen in any other game. And yes, you probably do want to get the fan mod, which actually restores one character. Because again, this game was shipped incomplete, basically. Huh. Ouch. That bad. Yeah, a whole world, a whole world was cut, and uh, a whole player character was cut from release. Even even though all the data was still in there, it they just cut it because it was not coded complete. That's just dumb. But I do have to say, uh, Kira, who is like your mentor figure that you get right away at the beginning, she's one of the best mm, Jedi mentor figure. I mean, she's not really a Jedi. I, okay, the cut. I'd be here for ages if we had to talk about Star Wars lore, but basically, gray Jedi are a thing. It's where they're not completely on the light side, but not completely on the dark side, but they know the flows of the Force itself. And I will say this. this uh, the storyline to Knights of the Old Republic 2 was what I was kind of hoping The Last Jedi would actually go with and actually explore. They explore basically a, a plot concept that is really really ingenious for the Star Wars universe. And what's that? And I can't oh, I can't spoil it. That's half that's half the surprise, but I will say I will say it's better story than than freaking Last Jedi. But if you kill your enemies, they win. <laughs> <laughs> all right, did that all right, did that. All right. But yes, enough about me. All Let's right, hear right. you talk about me. Well, still, uh, th that <laughs> sounds like a pretty good game, and the only reason why I know this and why I find it strange is because uh, the two best friends play uh, the Switcher channel is playing the same game, but they're playing KOTOR 1. So I was just wondering, like, why were you playing that one to begin with? It's like, oh, what? Oh, I've already played I've already played KOTOR 1, was the deal. Yeah, oh, okay, so it was just, oh, okay, okay. Like, the timing is just impeccable. Okay, so, Star, what about you, man? Oh man, I have a lot of story to tell. 
Yeah. Because I just, I just, I been silent for this month was obviously I just went for, for a long vacation. So I just came back on the 19th of uh, December. I, I went from the 8th all the way until 19. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a pretty long vacation. Yep. Well, I go to Kuala Lumpur actually just to attend the, uh, two convention. My convention that I go for was that I went on the 8th just to rest and then ninth and the 10th is the, conven- the first convention that is actually a furry convention that is called Furum, uh, Fur Upon Malaysia. <laughs> and it's I heard about it from uh, one of the brony in Malaysia after I saw a picture that they posted onto the website, uh, Facebook and I was like quite interested. So I decided this year to go visit and because I was quite surprised last year because of the fact that Malaysia is a furry convention. So I was having a lot of, um, I was more likely to stay behind the scenes because I'm, this is my first furry convention. I do not know anyone, just like how, uh, what happened during uh, the Friendship Express back in November last year. It was so, it was quite a, it was quite an interesting experience. Although in, after that, it was a two day experience at today's convention. So I go for the sec, uh, on the second day, I get to warm up a bit. And so I start to talk with others. Though, at the very least, there's other bronies were there, so that's that's great, I think. Oh, that sounds interesting. I mean, having a furry convention like I've seen one before. I think about two years ago at the two two thousand fifteen was it? Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, twenty fifteen. Yeah, they had it on the same day as Comic Fiesta, so I was like, whoa, ah. that was interesting. I didn't know about that. So yeah, that's that's besides the point, and. If I'm not mistaken, after that, you came right down to visit me, right? Yep, I went to vi- I went to vi- Johor just to visit. After basically after the convention and that night time, I straight away just booked a bus uh, bus ticket and straight away go to Johor just to meet Norman. Yeah. <laughs> a midnight trip. Yeah. Though I remember reaching J- uh, Johor was about two a.m. Yeah. in the morning. I was like, freaking hell! Oh, it was yeah. like freaking cold. Cold weather, and then I was wearing shorts, so I was getting mosquito bites here and there. Oh, yeah. Waiting for Norman, oh, so yeah. yeah, it was quite interesting. The, yeah, the so... fun part was the fun part was this: you called me multiple times, and yep. at that time I was kind of recording a show. I didn't know was... you were recording it that long until you told me what hap- what's what you were recording and I was yeah, like, oh, that, okay. that, was the that kind of end. explains it. That was at the tail end of the recording and like, oh, oh, oh I need to pick you up. Okay. <laughs> I was like, uh, I was like pinging you. I was like, hmm, where's Norman? At least you got to drop a message or WhatsApp or uh, something. Uh, something. So like, yeah. at least I could have know that you was like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm actually doing, but then again, you did mention the fact that you left your phone somewhere else. Yeah, and it was not your best. <laughs> if I didn't mention anything or whatnot, I would be sitting there until the six a.m. in the morning. I'll be having like, uh, oh, what wow. to do? You're just sitting there waiting at the bus stop with you know, yep, with much. the Incredible Hulk's Lonely Man theme playing. You know what? I could... Because here's the thing. Uh, Star told me that he was probably going to arrive at six something like that, and then like, I said, okay, if uh, everything goes right. I'm gonna take a short nap. I almost did. Then again, yeah, lucky you didn't. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, uh, and I wasn't expecting it until I checked my clock. I was like, "Huh, two a.m. in the morning." I thought it was three or f- I thought it was three or four already by that time. Yeah, but that is too. But uh, that's besides the point. So after your visit here, you went uh, after what two day or three day stay something like that. Yeah, uh, I stay until Tuesday. Something like that. Yeah, I stay until Tuesday after that. Tuesday afternoon, that I go back to KL. Yeah, and then you went to the another convention, the Comic Fiesta, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. And yeah, yep. that one was pretty cool too. Um, I didn't go there because stuff I need to do, and from what I heard, there's a lot of it was he has taste. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep. <laughs> Well, I ain't going to say anything, but it involves pepper spray. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, yes, that one. Uh, eh, I'm not going to talk about it. 
Yes. Not in- it's not a very interesting story to talk about. Oh no, about. it is. It is for you guys. I who I know it is, <laughs> but in the end, it just be another uh, typical kind of thing. So, so eh, what doesn't gonna, matter anymore. What I'm gonna do here is just for you guys who are really interested in this story, go Google search Comic Fiesta 2017 Bear Spray. Bear Spray. Oh yeah. Yeah. The, the, that's it. That's it. And then uh, enjoy the readings. <laughs> <laughs> so that's about it no I when it's uh, my experience during Comic Fiesta it's interestingly it's my first uh, it's not just it's my first uh, time going to anime convention a proper one not those small 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 kind of deal you know this kind of mall kind of thing nah this is like a proper big mm. anime convention so Interestingly, I did found something that I like, and so I got it. Well, supposedly it was two Miku plush okay. that I saw. <laughs> uh, two plush that I saw on the well, it was supposedly I just saw one of the plush on Toriba and just went eBay just to look for it, and I saw two of them that I kind of like. So I kind of want to get it, and you know, eBay is kind of expensive, so I did not expect that I saw it on Comic Fiesta. So did you? So buy that's it? one. Yes, okay. it's on my bed. All right, all right. <laughs> I, well, not just that. It's all, I also got Terriamon from at, during when I was at firm. Oh. We basically, had <laughs> yeah. a lot of fun. Oh, oh by the way, yeah, uh, I was having a lot of fun. You also went to the Miku concert, right? Yes, I went to Miku concert, and oh boy, one thing I could say was that was such a great concert. Dude. I, I have, I supposedly I, I wasn't sure whether or not I was going, and thanks to a friend of mine, he said that. Well, I supposedly want to get a normal seated one. And he just said, oh, you know what? Just get the standing one. And he will pay for the standing ticket. I will just pay. F- uh, he just get. Well, I just pay part of the seating ticket and that's it. So, yeah. Pretty much a score. Uh, uh, what you call, they call it the rock zone ticket. And and that was such a fun concert, man. I mean, I did bought the light stick. And which was said light, light stick was being used... The next day for the Comic Fiesta so you... uh, concert night, oh, rave wow. party night, actually. That's cool. That's cool. Sounds like <laughs> yep. you had fun. Sounds like you had fun. But yeah, but Hatsune Miku, really, though, you have to see it in real person. Then you get to know how great that hologram is. It looks like real person. <laughs> All righty, then. I believe you. I believe you. At least yeah. it's better than the Tupac hologram. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know. Oh, wow. Well, I met game developers there, so I'm quite happy for that. Oh, that's cool. What kind of game devs yeah. did you meet? One was this so-called Rhythm Doctor that was gotten uh, IGF uh, student nominated back in 2015, I think. And it was available on itch.io. So when I saw it, I was like, huh, it, it's a Rhythm game that got nominated and it's kind of interesting. And I just play it fast forward to this year. I didn't expect that it's gonna release to Steam next year. Oh, wow. So I was really, really excited when I saw the developer and I was talking to him. I was like, he was quite a nice guy. Did you get a picture? And the sad thing is, yes, that was one thing I I forgot to take a picture of. Oh man. And I kind of regret that. Damn no, it. Wait, next year, next year. <laughs> uh, well, if he's gonna be there, but overall at least well, I did ask for his name card and he ran off name card, so I just asked follow him on Twitter and he followed me back. Yay! And and also another developer I think some people may heard of is a game called Sarah is Missing. It's the one that was available, uh, what you call psych- a psychological horror game that was available on the I- iOS and, and iOS and Android, I think. Whereby it's just it's a game that you are just using your uh, a phone UI to navigate around to solve puzzle about why this character went missing, uh, oh. Sarah went missing. Well, the and obvious they solution gonna... is just control F, Sarah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Lol. And they're going to release a, a sequel called Simula Kra. And I was. And that game also got uh, IGF, I think, finalists also. Ah, cool. So I also I was quite happy to talk with the developer also. But the thing is, I forgot to take a picture also. Oh, so, yeah. So, yay. <laughs> it is cool. It's cool. Yeah. But anywho, um, for as for me, this week has been pretty slow but interesting. Um, 
Let's see. I didn't do anything interesting in my first week. Uh, just besides posting a few things. Uh, let's see. What did I do on the Tuesday? I think I watched a movie. Uh, Tuesday's movie, yes. Wasn't uh, it? I watched Jumanji. Wasn't it Star Wars? Nah, that was, I think, last week or so. Or mm. I did watch Star Wars, but I don't think I talked to you guys about it. Or... Okay, you know what? I watched Star Wars. It was pretty good. And it was interesting and stuff. Uh, that's going to be talk for another day because it's Star Wars. And another it's one. It's going to be another review show. <laughs> yeah, true that. Uh, another one I watched was Jumanji Enter the Jungle. Starring Dwayne Johnson, Kevin Hart. Um, big guy, I forgot his name. Uh, who was his Rock. name? No, big fatty guy who played um, School of Rock. Jack Black. Yes, thank you. A Jack classic. Black. Yep. And also the guy who played the doctor's assistant. I forgot her name. But still, uh, it was a pretty interesting movie. That movie was fun. And they did a twist where I think a lot of people nowadays could accept where you're stuck in a video game. Find a way out. Oh, people who watch Sora Online or No Game No Life are going to enjoy this movie because it's about the same thing. But then better. So what else can I say? I enjoyed the movie. It was kind of a surprise. I remember way back when when the movie came out and people were quote unquote poo pooing it because oh look at this they're making a Shumanji movie and it looks dumb. And <laughs> yeah, well, it's good. The Rock. Even if something is dumb, it's at least got to be semi entertaining with him in it. Yeah, and honestly speaking. The, anything with The Rock and Kevin Hart is going to be good. It's like best friends working together. You know they're going to have fun. So besides that, I receive an email that says that, Hey bro, you still have free movie tickets just for joining this member thing. When are you going to claim it? And I decided to claim it yesterday. I wanted to watch the movie Ferdinand starring John Cena. Right, so we, we got John Cena. And then The Rock in a movie. And then The Rock's in another movie. What's next? We're going to find out that Hulk Hogan's in the next Star Wars? That would be interesting. But you want to know what? Or maybe the Mankind. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would be so cool. But you, you guys want to know something? You, you guys want to know what happened? So, wanted to watch Ferdinand, but I didn't. I didn't. Just because of the timing of the movie, I needed to wait a few hours just to catch it. So, John Cena's mantra of, you can see me, is true. Eh, the movie is probably just a bunch of bull anyway. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I I, I thought it was, I I was hoping it was good. But you know what, I'll probably catch that in a later day. But uh, the movie I did watch was Jackie Chan's um, newest movie he did which was called Bleeding Steel. And that movie was interesting. Um, It's a Chinese director movie kind of thing, directed for the Asian market. And you want to know what? I find it highly entertaining. And there was a lot of English in between too, so it was not that bad. So for you guys in the West, if you do see this movie, give it a shot. It's um, it's kind of superhero-ish because there's people in tight spandex and whatnot and also there's thing with nano machines. Just imagine Mel Gear Rising style of stuff. I mean, it's really entertaining. And you got Jackie Chan, so it's always cool. Wasn't it The Foreigner? No, there's another movie starring um, Jackie Chan and Pierce Brosnan, the guy who played okay. James Bond once. That that came out a while back. And I wonder if that movie was catered for the American market. Maybe. Yeah. Well, we'll never know. But still, uh, if it's out in your neck of the woods, go watch it. Like, it's a thumbs up from me. It's really fun. Ah, great. Yeah, so, I don't watch movie. <laughs> oh, you. What about you, Will? Gonna watch it? No? I want to watch so many movies. But I have so little money. I guess I'll just have to wait. <laughs> Yes, wait. <laughs> Shut it. <laughs> so, anywho, uh, that 
is the news for this week. We all share our weeks and, well, in all honesty, uh, for us, we haven't gotten to the Christmas yet. So, um, stuff with Christmas presents, we don't can't really say much because I don't have any right now. Uh, so, maybe next week, it'll be the last show for the year. We'll see how that goes. Wait, did you say it'll be the last show forever? No! For the year, for the year, my friend. We're still good, we're still good. Oh, okay, well, let's just hope we're not stuck in a time loop and then it turns out we gotta start the whole 2017 all over again. Well, one thing you could do, Wills, is try to memorize the lotto number. One thing you have to remember, Norman, is that even the most minute differences could have drastic effects. Me just deciding to have... A chocolate donut instead of a vanilla donut on that same morning of the drawing of the lot of numbers could just have change even one of them. So memorizing a lot of numbers is completely arbitrary. But Wills, okay. um, well, how bad could it be? Because you guys have a really great president, you know? <laughs> well, I'll say it's better than what the UK is going through. That's for sure. But um, at least, at least I'm not. At least I can't be arrested for saying an opinion online. And thrown into jail for freaking three years oh. for having the wrong opinion. Oh wow! <laughs> oh, we're getting too political. Let's pull it back. Let's pull it back. <laughs> so, anywho, if you guys at home have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at thembsshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the twitters. The show's Twitter account is at thembsshow, and I'm at Norman Sanzo. Wills, where can the good people find you? People want to find me. Are you saying I'm being followed? Probably. Yes, if you want to find me, you know where I am. Which is at Film Fiction and DeviantArt and also Tumblr, which you can find at W-I-L-I-Z-I-N. Alrighty then, and what about you, Star? People can find me on my DeviantArt and my Twitter also, AngelicorXX. Ah, that's cool. And also please Yeesh. subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyvilleLife.com. Links are in the show notes. And if you would like to support the show, you can do so at Patreon.com and Coffee.com. With every support, you'll get early access to the review and discussion podcast. Exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I like to thank... Lurker Cat, Imperatoria, Starstream, Master of Lag, Amy, and also Mark. Thank you guys for the awesome support. You guys have been really, really awesome. So, anywho, I have been Norman Sanzo. I have been Will. And this is Starstream. And we'll guys catch you next week with another amazing and fun episode of the MBS show. See ya. See ya. Toodaloo!